target down. Into the mouth. Nice. What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Babloon aka Pabloon and today I am back with another review of an upcoming ship. This is the tier 10 British destroyer Druid. A very unique destroyer in the uh, destroyer category I would say. The Druid features two guns, two 127mm guns in dual turrets that reload in 1.75 seconds with the build I run. Along with this uh, beautiful Irish themed camo you also get, or at least this is the special camo. There is also an historical one, but this is the best camo. Along with this, you have the short burst smoke. You can get six uses, which is actually quite a lot. I have not had a game where I used all my smoke yet. You get some sonar, some minuscule DFAA, and then you get the special heals, the same Goliath and Drake have. So you have four heals with the you know, boosted variant. And in this game, we're actually running Jellico. I wanted to test out how much healing could you do. And well, we could do a lot of healing. I'm pretty sure this was one of the Jellico games, but I would say that just run a normal commander on this ship since it is, it's kind of niche. Now, what does the Druid do? The Druid is a bow-in tanking ship that is a menace to DDs. It has a very fast reload, like I said, 1.75 seconds and the AP smacks. Now the HE is really bad, and, and I'm gonna say this again, really bad. It has a 2% fire chance, and there is a battle, sorry, elite bonus you can take to get more fire chance, but it's gonna give you like 0.14% and it's not gonna help you at all. I tried using the HE on this thing, and the only times I will use HE is versus a tanky BB at long range. Actually, the AP can perform at long range, I found, and you'll, what you're seeing here is a Ragnar and a Druid who are just you know, pummeling this Nevsky. I'm playing with Red Gaming Dino in this game, and thank you so much for the help, Red. Uh, we, we had so much fun. We pretty much did the most toxic thing you can do in a DD. We took the Ragnar and the Druid, and you, we, there's just nothing that can, you know, take us out. It's actually really good. Now, the Druid in itself, I found to be a, a fun ship, a very, very fun ship that I think a lot of people would have enjoyment playing. Now, that being said, it is, again, very niche. The AP is where it's at, and the best situation for a druid is fighting a destroyer at close range, because you can bow in and avoid those torpedoes very easily. With the short burst smoke and the sonar, you're very well equipped to fight destroyers, and I have had fights with the Golos. You have to think, you know, think a lot. You have to use your brain. You will probably lose in a 1v1 close up, but you are very, very you know, deadly to destroyers. And this Austin here is also gonna find out that, sure, you can kill us very easily, but the two of us together, we have a lot of AP fire firepower. So here you can see the guns are just constantly shooting. And it's very easy to, you know, avoid anything that's incoming because you're pretty much bowing the whole time. 
Now, of course, there is a downside to this ship. The biggest downside, in my opinion, is the, the lack of torpedoes. But the lack of torpedoes, you really feel it when you are trying to fight a BB. And if you saw in the montage, you have to do some, uh, you know, finicky maneuvers to avoid getting killed by a Montana at close range. And you have to shoot him quite a bunch of times just to get some damage in. And actually, I'm going to include a clip after this game of me and Red versus a Grosser Kerfus and a Vermont in these things where we were using AP. And it, it's quite hilarious how many shells it takes. But we're moving on to the Montana here, and you want to aim for the bow and the stern. You can see the AP is kind of funky at this range. You get some ghost shells that don't register, you get some non-pens, which you should. I mean, it's a battleship. So you want to really get, you know, precise on the bow or the stern. I'm not doing a pretty good job of it here, but we're probably going to adjust here soon. Here. Look, we're getting some semi-pens. Ideally, you should probably be using HE, but I must admit, the HE I did not find to be worth it at all. Only, like I said, at very, very long ranges versus heavy armored BBs. At Montana, you should probably stick to AP, honestly, because of the fire resistance. But yeah, the AP, like I said, it's great. And because you can just bow in like this, you have so much sustain along with the heal. It is actually quite crazy how, you know, how much you could prolong a fight in Druid, which is what I really like. It's not going to be, you know, doing the highest damage, because again, you don't have torpedoes, and you really should not rely on fires, because that way you won't be maximizing the ship. You know, the, the, the thing that you are going to be doing is killing destroyers and light cruisers. You can face Minnows, you can face Smolensk. You saw we were 3 v one a Smolensk, and we, we did die, yes, but we also took him down because of his bow-in power. Powers, pretty much. These smokes are extremely useful, I found, and they, they cover your position very well. Very quickly, you get, you know, undetected like you see here. And you can see we're, we're actually full penning a Kremlin somewhat. Some half pens, mostly half pens and non pens, but it's not bad AP. And the, with the firepower and the fire rate, it just keeps on going. So, if I was to rate this ship on a fun scale, I'm gonna rate it, man, a 9 out of 10. We, we had a lot of fun while doing this, or I had a lot of fun while playing this. Destroyers just don't match you, and I, I remember saying to Red, swap to Yu Yang, and you just see the AP from the Ragnar, the AP from me. Bro, this guy doesn't stand a chance. This this is such a toxic ship um, in a good way, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's it's unbalanced or anything like that. I'm saying it's it's a troll ship. You can piss off so many battleship players with this thing, because it's really hard to deal with, especially if you're a Vermont who has a 30 second reload. Columbo's, of course, they probably won't have trouble with this thing, but then again, they could get full pen everywhere. And yeah, I don't know what to say. This is just a troll ship and I don't know if I'm going to wail for it, but if it does pop up in the store, I'm definitely going to get it because I had so much fun playing this. My win rate with 20 games is like over 90%. It's um, being That being said, I was playing at a time where NA was not as hot. There wasn't as many players online, but my general impression of this ship, it's a really fun niche sort of thing, but a lot of people will be able to get behind because the only thing you do is bow in and shoot. That's all you do. You have nothing else to offer, but... That one skill that the Druid does do, it does really well. I mean, just look at this game. We did 91,000. It's not my highest. Actually, the game where the two BBs were just dormant letting us shoot them is my highest damage. But there was a lot of bots in that game. Like I said, not a, not a damage ship, but a high impact ship. This is impacting the game because DDs will fear it. Even light cruisers will fear it. So here we have this clip with the BBs. And Red is playing a Ragnar. I'm playing the Druid. And I kept this DD bot DD clip in just to, you know, kind of demonstrate how you do this Druid thing. You just, you know, fiddle with your engine, turn your ship. It has really good, you know, acceleration. It's probably the, I've heard it's the best at tier 10, at least for the size of the DD. It's a massive DD. Remember that you are quite big, but this is pretty much the name of the game. I mean, it's a bot, so obviously he didn't really do much. But I just wanted to keep that in there so you guys could see how devastating it is and how consistent it is against a destroyer. Now remember you have a smoke and a sonar, so it's not like it's going to be difficult for you to dodge it whilst you're bow in. Now here's the HE and you can see it's, I mean it's consistent damage, right? 146 every time, but with this fire chance, I even had the elite bonus where you get extra fire chance in this game. It's not very good. We do get a fire there, but I actually tell red bro you can shoot the gk but i'm gonna focus vermont here and just use ap 
<laughs> this Vermont here, he was... I don't know what this guy was doing, but he did not care about me at all, that's for sure. But, and you can see, yeah, the AP does way more damage. It does 359 if you get a full pin on the Stern or Bow. So, that's what we're gonna do. This is pretty much the whole clip, guys. Notice our damage, we're at 30k. Um, these BBs got me all the way up to 134,000. Now, this was, again, a, almost a full bot game, but the only bot we shot at was that gearing. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna take out the midway as well. But yeah, you can see the problem for this thing is taking out a battleship. Obviously, if this battleship was aware of what was going on, or maybe shooting at me, it would have been a little bit more difficult for me. But also, a Vermont with a 30 second reload, man, it's not fun when you're facing this guy who's completely bow in, spamming you. But what can this guy realistically do? We talked about this, me and Red. What could he really do? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing much. The same with the GK. Like, what can they actually do? They could try to rush us down, you know, and use GK secondaries and brawling potential to take us out. But then again, I have six of these smokes uh, that I can just pop every time, that I, all the time. What, what can they actually do? This was a funny game, and this is what I mean by it, it being a toxic ship. It harasses BBs non-stop. The beginning, when you're facing this thing, you're probably thinking, Oh, he doesn't do that much damage. It's going to take him some time to get below. <laughs> but time, you know, 150 hits, which we're at now, is half his HP. And if he starts healing, that's just more damage for me. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here, and uh, we're going to get to the end of it. Now the Ragnar pitches in, and it's just not fun. Right, so the bot CV here, he is, um, yeah, he's, he's trying to brawl us. He knows what's up. He, he knows he needs to get close. So this guy knew what was up, um, but he goes down, obviously. It's a bot. And now we're going to be fighting this GK in Vermont. Pretty close range. And this is where... The Druid becomes super fun in my opinion. You can get real up close and personal to battleships, like you saw me do to that Black Montana. I'm actually sorry for that guy, because it happened twice in a row. Uh, we played against him twice, and I did the exact same thing both games. Just bow on, shoot his bow. So Vermont's moving back in, and um, he's presenting a very beautiful high waterline, uh, sort of high free ball bow there. There's tons of stuff to shoot at, and we do a game of turn magically survived. If he had had HE loaded, I don't know why they didn't load HE, by the way. They, they probably could have killed me. The Vermont could have taken me out there with HE. But look at my HP. Remember the number, 6,808 HP. That is what we're left at after a strike from Vermont. Full broadside strike, nonetheless. Definitely a devastating salvo, but once our heal comes back up, we're gonna regain so much health. It is unreal. This thing can tank and tank and tank. And then once you think you've got it, it just goes back to almost full health. So we have four seconds left on our heal. Just wait. Three, two, one. Here we go. Heal's up. We're going to go to half HP, guys. From 6,800 to, let's see where it leaves us. Probably somewhere around, yeah. 12 and a half K. Yep. A little more than 12 and a half K. That is a very powerful heal. Remember, this is with Jellico, though. So when you're using the Commander Jellico, you're going to get more healing. But... Like I said, I re recommend this ship to be played with a normal commander. I mean, you could put something like BD or something that had Mist Weaver Plus. Mist Weaver Plus definitely helps because you get a shorter cooldown on your short duration spoke. It doesn't increase the duration of it, but it makes the cooldown shorter, guys. That's how it works. If it's an, if it's an actual smoke, Mist Weaver Plus will also increase the duration of it. But yeah, th there's not much to be said. These guys just did not really have a chance because the matchup they faced is just so much against them. It has nothing to do with their level of experience. These guys just didn't really stand a chance. Because the druid could just do like they do this. I'm just bowing this guy. I don't care about his secondaries. He's gone. And that is the highest damage I've done. And it was mostly farmed on those two BBs. So there is damage potential, but you have to be facing negligent BBs for sure. <laughs> For sure. I'm pretty sure we end up getting 534 shell hits this game. And uh, yeah, well, it was a fun one, definitely. Okay, so here we are with the build. And this is the historical camo. It is not the best camo. The best one is Irish Emerald. And I mean, it looks really good. I, I like this camo. The green and yellow. For the elite bonus, I, like I said, had the advanced HE shell. But I've changed it over to this. Um obviously because the HE is just not worth it and this thing does not really help at all. You get more damage with the HE, sure, but 2% is very little. For the supplies, pretty standard supplies, nothing to say there. My equipment is reload mod, propulsion, and detection. Detection I took really because if you are trying to kite away, which you don't want to be because you can't shoot, 
because your gun's out in the front, you want to be able to go undetected and relocate and, you know, try to go for a new approach. So I just used a normal commander for most of my gameplay, but I, like I said, I did play with Jellicoe, but I would recommend you just using a normal commander. If you want to go full meme healing, obviously you could use Jellicoe or somebody else who has improved heals. It, it really is funny, but it doesn't need it. These heals are good on the mo their own. They don't need the extra boost. And yeah, this is the build for my commander. I am... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's not much else to say about this ship uh, other than it, I really like it. It's a fun ship. It's trolly. It's fast. It is different and a unique play style. And I think we're going to be seeing this a lot. I give it a 9 out of 10 on the fun scale. I give it an 8 out of 10 on the relevancy and meta scale. So pretty high scores from me. And that is simply because I had consistency all throughout my playthrough. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the accompanying montage. My name has been Bubloon, aka Paploon, and I am signing out.